Good evening, everybody. Today is November 1st, 2010. Tomorrow is Election Day. And I just wanted to give a few ideas and thoughts about politics across this nation in Camden since I'm a student and observer of the political system. I've never been so frustrated with politics, and that's true both in what's going on in the United States, across this country, and right here in my own city. For this election that's coming tomorrow, the top of the ticket, we're voting for members of Congress. In Camden, we have Rob Andrews as our member of the United States Representatives, and he's running against the Republican. The Republicans in Congress, those that are have already been elected since Obama has been president, have voted no on any meaningful piece of legislation, even those things that they have proposed themselves, really keeping this country from moving forward. And they are determined to make sure that President Obama and the Democrats in Congress get no credit. And unfortunately, it looks like the Democrats will lose the House of Representatives, which I don't think is good because I don't think that President Obama and a Congress that's half Republican will be able to get legislation passed that's meaningful for our country. The Democrats have also been disappointing in that they passed laws that have had a huge impact on our lives, especially the health care legislation and legislation that affects how college loans are paid, uh, legislation expanding national service programs such as AmeriCorps. But they've been done a really bad job of explaining to the American people how those things impact us in a meaningful way. On the state level, we're voting for uh, two members of our legislative delegation within the 5th district and it's also been frustrating as a resident of New Jersey to see what's happening in Trenton. Governor Christie is fulfilling his campaign promises, shrinking the size of the budget and making cuts all over the place. Some of the cuts are absolutely necessary for the economic reality of what's going on because of the recession and not collecting as much tax revenue as the state has in previous years. However, many of the cuts unfortunately hurt cities, including and especially Camden, where Mayor Red is forced to lay off over 100 firefighters and police officers in the upcoming months. And we'll see exactly what those numbers look like when they happen. Locally in the city of Camden, we have an election for city council um, for, for people who moved up to the assembly. Um, the city of Camden has things that we can do right here in the city, in the legislature, by city council to make our city better. And it's important not only that we vote tomorrow, but also that we continue to participate in the democratic process beyond that by going to meetings, by writing letters, sending emails, looking the legislators, looking at our city council members, our mayor, our state legislators in the eye whenever we see them and telling them how we feel, telling them about the frustrations that we have, encourage them to do their best and support us and to not support this ugly political system, both in the state of New Jersey and across the country, which really prevents good things from happening. I know I've been frustrated. I'm a school board member in this city and people have said for years that there's this democratic machine somehow that prevents positive things from happening. But I can tell you that there may be a machine, but it has very limited in what its focus is on. And I wish that there was a machine that I could participate in as a school board member so that I could get some help in doing things that are really important for our kids in Camden, including working to make sure that the dropout rate um, is not as high as it's been in the last few years. It's actually increasing, not decreasing right now. I'd also like some help in making sure that we encourage parents to participate in the lives of their children, that schools are comfortable places for the children to go, that we put pressure on the governor and state agencies to make sure schools like Landon Square are built. So I'm frustrated. I'm sure most of us in Camden are frustrated. We still have uh, unsafe streets and the murder rate that's high. We still have streets that have potholes in them. Um, we still don't have enough jobs for people in our community. Uh, but I ask that you use that frustration, use that energy, vote tomorrow, and then after election day, be a part of a movement, be a part of a process, and have your voice heard. You can do it by making comments 
or on Facebook or on YouTube. You can do it by attending meetings, by writing letters, by just sharing your opinion with, with, with other people. But the more we get involved, the more active we are, the more positive things we can expect to happen in our community. Because I can tell you, I'm getting tired, I'm getting frustrated. But if enough of us join together, we'll be able to do some great things. So hopefully I'll see you out there on election day, voting and, and rallying everyone. The higher the numbers, the better we look. So good luck. Hope everything goes well. Power to the people. All right, I'm going to stop this thing now.